Welcome to episode 424 of the Geeks for the Win podcast, the tech and gaming podcast from the geeksforthewin.com. We cover all things geeky. I'm your host, William, and I'm joined with my co-host, Stuart. Known across the internet as Casual Terror. Okay, we got, oh, at least I I feel like I got a lot to talk about. I'm, I'm sure you do too, because we nope. skipped last week. Not nope. a whole lot. <laughs> More is more than I thought I I would, but not a whole lot. Whoops. Okay. Well, I guess what 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 which what's something you got this week, Stuart? We're doing the movie TV version yes. this week, so what we've been watching basically. Oh uh, well, let's start with something that I didn't watch, but I listened to instead, and that's okay. It's an audio drama series that you know, because you've you've listened to them. This is is this their second spinoff? They came out with last year. We're alive, Gold Rush. Oh, no, it didn't come out last year. Sorry, it came out in 2019. Felt feel feels like last year because of what twenty twenty was. Time doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Now, We're Alive, if you don't know, is an audio dra- drama about, it's it's a zombie apocalypse, and it's really good. It's really high quality. Like, I've, I've not found another audio drama with this level of production. It was one of the first ones that really, like, got big attention. Yeah. That I, at least the, that I remember coming out. Yeah, that was uh, the original series came out, I think, in 2000. No, I'm sorry, in 2010. <laughs> Whoa, that's way earlier than I thought. No, sorry. T- t- 2010 is when, like, the original series, like, first started coming coming out. Uh, because they were they were saying in, like, interviews and stuff that they have in here, that, like, oh, you know, We're Alive is nine years old, and it was 2019, so... Like, okay, so it came out in 2010. Uh, but this is the second spinoff that they've done. The other one was called Lockdown. And Gold Rush takes place. I, it has to be before the end of the actual show. Because, hey, spoilers, there were some characters that were alive in in the in this that ended up dying by the, the end of the main of the main story. So this takes place during at, at some point before the end of the series. Um, but after when they, but after, after they've already taken over the colony, if, you, if you've listened to it, you know, you know, you know what, you know what that means. I, I, I don't remember anything from it. Well, I, I, I actually re, re, re listened <laughs> to the series like maybe three years ago. So like it, it's, it's still somewhat fresh in my head. Um, and. So, yeah, and while some of like the, the the main characters of the of the actual of the of the main story are in it they're not the focus they're not the, the the main characters of this these are a bunch of kind of side characters that just kind of go off on their own and enter to find a bunch of gold it's called gold rush but what really got me is that there are some some cameos in this that I was not expecting one of them, Danny Trejo. 
Oh wow. And I'm gonna kind of spoil his 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 thing. He's in it for maybe 30 seconds. Cause he's a character that they find who's dying. And he's the one that gives him the map to the, to the gold and then he dies. I'm like, really? You got Danny Trejo to come in for like 30 seconds to die? I mean, I know we busy being in every single thing ever. Like I know look at his IMDB. He's in like so many things. I know. I know we, we discussed this, I think last, last uh, movie and TV podcast, but like, yes, he is the, the number one actor who dies in, in movies, but still like you couldn't, you couldn't have had him for like a little bit more. Like, okay. See, see, I've said this before. I think uh, I'm pretty sure I've said this to you before. It's him and Eric Roberts are in like so many things. It's ridiculous. If you look at their IMDb, like I, I even heard an interview with, uh, from, uh, like kind of funny, did an interview with Eric Roberts and like, they were talking about how he's in so many things that it's just crazy. Like, you know, it's it's him and Danny Trejo are in like probably like they got like four or five at least four or five different things like every year that they're part of. And it's just it's you know, it's crazy, you know, the hustle that those two do. Well, another cameo that's in, in this, it's not really even a cameo, it's a guest spot because I mean, because this person is in there, there are 10, 10 episodes of this, and she's in eight of them. Christy Carlson Romano. Like she plays oh, like a, 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 okay. a major char- character in this in this side side story. Kim Possible, right? Yes. Or Ren Stevens. Or Ren, Ren Stevens, yes. Whichever one. Or and, whatever. And name, she, yeah. <laughs> she she plays a uh a she used to be an act, an act actress before the world went went to hell. She was like nice, nice. Well, she was like like the biggest action star of of in in the in the show. So it's it's worth a I listen can, listen to. <laughs> mm, uh, even I may go back and listen to the old one. Even first. even yeah. if you've not heard the original, uh, the original story. This is this it's it's good on its own. Just just know that a zombie apocalypse had happened. That's all you really need to know. It happened already. And they're in the midst of it and actually doing doing well by the by this point. OK. Um, and they are coming out with another uh, another series called Descendants. Which hey, it's gonna be about the descendants of the original cast. Interesting. Okay. Which do show up in this because this is told in a way where it's a it's a flashback. It's being told by another char- character to one of the descendants. It, it it's told in in that way. So. It's worth a listen to, as well as the main story, as well as the other um, uh, spinoff, which was Lockdown. Which okay. that, that one t- yeah. takes place in a prison. I can't remember how far I got into the original one, but I'm not even sure how long the original one went. But I remember like I got deep into it and then there, I got it, caught up. It went kind of long. Like I want to say, like yeah. there are many seasons. Yeah, it's just the week to week thing, you know. Like I got caught up, and it's then, not like, week to week anymore. Happened where, yeah, something happened where I decided not. I I just like fell off, you know. Whether it was like I don't know, I don't know what it was. But yeah, I remember really enjoying it. The production quality it was amazing. That's the thing that definitely stood out, you know, it was like better. It's better than like most like 
mo- most audio dramas out there. Yes. You know, even like full fledged, like ones that are done by like, you know, big companies. Yeah, it is very good and worth worth a listen. What about you? Okay. What have what have you been watching? Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, well, I've. I'll kind of cheat and do two things in one because they're kind of related. Um, I watched the Friends reunion special. Me too. Me too. Okay. I watched it too. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really, a, I was not really a huge friends guy, but I enjoyed watching this because I did enjoy friends. I just wasn't a obsessed with it. Like oh, yeah. I knew a lot of people were like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a big friends person. I re I rewatch it like every, either every year or every other year, you know, I'll go through and yeah. watch it. I'm I'm enough of a fan to know some references. That's it. Yeah. God, there's so many good references too, and um, it, it it's it the the reunion was kind of cool because like they bring up a lot of some of those old references and stuff like that, and they discuss them. Mm-hmm. Um, it the format I wasn't expecting. Like it shows them meeting, you know, and they're meeting on the on the set because I guess they like either recreate the set or they have it. They brought the set out from some warehouse or something like that. Well, or, they, they definitely brought, brought it out because yeah, because they because they, they had signed it at, at at the at the end of the last episode and it shows them going b- behind the set and yeah yeah which look, is it's crazy to think that like. Do they save every set for everything? No. Or just like the big no, they things don't. like that. Where they, I can guarantee where they're, they're you like, they don't. Where they're like, maybe this will come back, you know? Because, yeah, that's that was crazy. But, um, and then they had James Corden. Like. Right? Like, all right, okay. In interview, like, do a sit down in front of the fountain, the iconic fountain. Yes. Which, if most people don't know, um, the fountain is like the 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 the, the fountain's the opening, like where they're dancing in the fountain as it's yes pouring and yeah with the with the iconic song and everything. But um, there were some interesting things I I learned that I didn't know about like the cast during the time, right? Like the fact that um. The Ross and Rachel thing was almost an actual thing. It was, it was almost, almost real. A thing, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Like How, David, yeah. David, David Schwimmer and just, Jennifer Aniston actually did have a thing for each other. Like at the beginning. Like that's weird. Yeah. But they had said like it was just not, it was never at the right time. Cause like, you know. Yeah. It, it was almost, it almost copied the show where it's like one wanted the other, but they were always taken, you know, and. Then when the other was free, the other was to, yeah, which is crazy. But they did talk about how like that probably helped a lot with their chemistry. Yeah. Like, in the show. And also it's probably a good thing that didn't actually happen. Because. Yeah. If they would have not worked out together, it would have been awkward. Oh, it, it could have been bad. It, yeah. it could have gone real bad. Yeah. Um there were some weird weird things like they had a fashion show. Right? With Justin Bieber? Like why? Why did Justin Bieber come out? Out of, out of out of the celebrities that came out to do the the fashion show, why Justin Bieber? Yeah, yeah I guess, but like why <laughs> any of the celebrities, you know? Like just it was just odd. Um, Cindy Crawford's still hot. She's still hot. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the, but still, why Cindy Crawford? <laughs> like, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, how did that happen? Like, 
how did they come up with that? You know? Yeah. Um, what was it? You got the, there was the, the, it, I had to look it up to see who it was. Cause I wasn't quite sure. Cause she looked so normal, but Lady Gaga sang with sang smelly cat with, that's who that was? I Lisa was like, Kudrow. I have no idea who this is. Yeah. I have no idea who this person is. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> she looks so normal. I didn't recognize her, you know? She looked like just a normal person, you know? Okay, like, it, was, it was Lady Gaga. That makes more sense now. But at the time, I'm like, I have no idea who this is. And um, I feel like... Especially because she was like, thank you for showing that, you know, being that weird friend that that helped us you know, uh, helped us weird people know it was okay to be she, weird. She still and, uh, looked you know. a little weird. I mean, to be honest, she, she, she didn't look like kind a regular of, person, but, like, but she was, she was a little off. Like, like, like a Phoebe she looked w- quirky. would have been. Yeah. Quirky. Yeah. But like, she, she wasn't wearing a dress made of meat or anything crazy like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then they had like the choir as the backup for Smelly Cat, which was just great. Like, God, yeah. what a crazy song. Um, which I got to say, I had that song stuck in my head for a little bit afterwards. Um, was it but, um, Was it me? Or did Matthew Perry did not look like he didn't kind of want to be there? There were there's some there's there's some stuff popping up about that, about how um, like, I guess Matthew Perry's had like a battle with alcoholism well i i knew i knew he had a drug issue during the show yeah and i kind of expected that to even pop up but it never did there was never was never mentioned yeah there's there's something about that that i've keeps i've kept seeing in my like google news feed um let me look this up real quick um. Yeah, it's just like mm. Friends reunion director defends Matthew Perry after unkind comments about actor slurred speech. So I, maybe he was I like, didn't catch that his speech was slurring, but I it just seemed like he didn't want to be, be there because like because like he was he rarely ever you know made a comment you know when somebody else was like oh remember this he rarely ever said anything and he yeah. I, I think maybe one time said hey you know remember this he said it like once yeah yeah I was I think there was a couple times but yeah he definitely like was quiet compared to the others um but yeah apparently people were complaining or caught it or whatever and maybe he was inebriated or something i don't know wait no it was later reported that by various publications that perry's third speech was resulted emergency dental surgery the procedure took place hours before the reunion was recorded okay so that you know he was okay that makes sense then sure but again i didn't catch the 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 third speech it just i i didn't either, but he definitely seemed off. Yeah. I, I, I thought. Yes. I, I do remember thinking, like, man, he looks a little rough. Like, did he have <laughs> maybe like a? Yeah, I'm, I'm not mind kidding. I'm. I thought maybe he had like a stroke or something like that. But maybe it was just like you know, his face was puffy from dental surgery or some you know something like that. You know, that could be it. But yeah, besides him and uh, uh, Matt LeBlanc, who played Joey, uh, the others look pretty and pr- pretty close to. Th- well, she she looks a little older, but I mean, she, she, it's very obvious she has had work done. Oh yeah, I guess I don't know. I can never really. I'm never really good at spotting that kind of stuff, but like most of the, most of the cast still look pretty good for the, considering they're in like their fifties now. Yeah. 
And Matt LeBlanc doesn't even look that bad. He just no, he's the, just the, the a little bit more round, a little bit rounder. Well, the white hair, like that's the big thing. The yeah. white hair works on him. Like it, 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 it does. It looks, yeah. it looks good on him. It really did. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's distinguished. That's what all the people say. Yeah, you know, when people have white hair and it looks all right on them. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. It was it was good. There was a lot of interesting. It was interesting to see them like. You know, interesting people to come back on, you know, the little guests they had here and there. Mm-hmm. I was kind of upset they couldn't get the guy who played Gunther to actually show up in person. They yeah. had to like Zoom call him. Yeah. It, that that, that had to have been a, been a COVID thing. Yeah, because that was that because <laughs> Gunther was definitely like the seventh main character on the show. <laughs> I agree with that. He was. And uh, I say that because I marathon. I've in the past couple of weeks, I've marathoned through the entire series. <laughs> so <laughs> it's amazing how many celebrities have were on Friends. Yeah, like almost like it, it's just it's crazy. The, the amount of celebrities, you know, and they even kind of talk about some of them, like, you know, Danny DeVito, for instance, George Clooney, Tom Brad Selleck. Pitt came on Tom, Se- Tom Selleck was, yeah, he was a on again, off again, romance with, mm. uh, Courtney Cox, this character, Monica, um, and then of course, Paul Rudd at the, like the last right. season or, uh-huh. Season last season, season and a half was Phoebe's love interest. So it's it, it's a good show. I really like it. I'm I was happy with the Friends reunion, and it was kind of also sad because they were they were talk they talked about how they're like this is the last we're ever going to do anything we're, we're involving Friends because they they kind of shot down the idea of like a movie or you know anything else because. You know, they thought thought it was a good send off the way the the writers wrote everything. You know, and it was, it was. I I do I do it, remember the 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 finale. And it was nice to um, see like they, they they all answered like where they thought their characters would be right now and or what happened after. Mm-hmm. You know, and then it was a real, it was a real you know. Like kicking the gut to oh yeah they had a spinoff show Joey uh, I forgot about that you know sure that did kind of that that wasn't that great um, it was never mentioned they did because they asked um they oh, asked Matt LeBlanc the with his character sandwich and he shop said, on a beach oh, he, yeah okay I used to, I I never watched Joey at all so I didn't I didn't know it that was, was a- yeah it was rough. It was not, uh, not, not, not really the quality at all. Um, you know, not near the quality of Friends, of course. Ice cream truck. But no. an ice cream truck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I marathon through, through that the past couple weeks. You know. Um. I know it's it just it, 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 it seems like a lot and it is a lot, but they are like 20 minute episodes without like commercials, you know? So are they really that short? Definitely get. Wow. They, they were like 30 minutes, you know, with commercials at it, you know? Wow. It wasn't an hour long thing. Yeah. So yeah, I got through, got through, got through that, you know, just like every night I'd watch a, a, a I'd end my night with friends and watch like a block of episodes, you know, type of thing. So, yeah, but the friends union was good. If anyone's, uh, was ever a fan or is a fan of friends, definitely check that out. I know it's, um, it's been like, I think breaking numbers or, you know, for like people watching it on either HBO max or I, I saw something either yesterday or today that like, 
overseas it's breaking numbers because i guess it's not necessarily on hbo max overseas it's on it's distributed to other stuff but it's been doing pretty well because it's 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 one of the most watched shows ever like you know it's like yeah. that seinfeld mash those are like I would say like the three big ones that people, you know, the, the the three biggest I could think of, you know, as far as scripted shows go. And the office is a newer one, but yeah. I completely forgot that there was a hairstyle called the Rachel. That was, I totally forgot all about that. I forgot about that too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. And it's crazy to think like that ended like was it seventeen years ago, something like that. When did Friends end? May sixth, two thousand four. Yeah. So yeah, seventeen years ago. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I typed Friends season ten, and people who people also ask, "Will there be Friends season 11? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. What What's another thing you got? Oh, uh, see, the other thing I got, <clears throat> I watched a movie that was released on Netflix called Army of the Dead. With the uh, oh, Batista. Oh, you and zombies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, ba- it's basically, it's a, it's a Las Vegas heist movie that takes place just after the zombie apocalypse. That's started it's like it's like okay interesting it's like two years after the zombie outbreak like they somehow contained all of the zombies into las vegas by using shipping crates which if you watch the shit doesn't make sense there's a lot of plot holes in that movie um but it's um, the president of the United States is going to nuke Las Vegas to get rid of the zombies because on July 4th, because what a firework that just shows you what type of president they were preparing. It's also a Zack Snyder movie. So true. <laughs> um, and it, it, I guess it, it uh, but, but Batista's in it, as well as there's a comedian named uh, Tig N- Nataro. I, I don't I don't think I've ever seen her before. Oh, is that the one that got like green screened in? And yes. Replaced somebody else. Yes. Yeah, I heard about that. And I didn't know. I, and I, I found this out afterwards. That that she was green gr- green screened in, and like never like only only actually interacted with like one other cast member, like one scene. I had no clue. It was actually it was done so well. I had no clue. Really, I've heard so I've heard some, mixed things. So, some but... people were saying like, "Oh no, I could tell, I could tell." Did you know beforehand? Yes. Then you 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 were looking for it. I wasn't looking for it. I didn't know it. I couldn't tell. I didn't know it was that that she was shot later. Yeah, because I think the original actor like got caught saying something or something. something Yeah, it was it was uh, it was was a me too. It was a me too movement. Yeah, something. I I think there was actually allegations against them. Um. But there is something more 
going on with this movie than just the heist during a zombie apocalypse. I don't want to spoil that, but there are more, there's more to it that make you go, wait, what the fuck? And I, I recommend you watch it because it is insane. Like what, like I, I, I want to know more about the weird shit that happened. That really was not the focus. And apparently there is going to be a animated series as well as a prequel mo- movie. Oh. So that's, that is ha- happening. Uh, and hopefully it, it goes into some of the oddities. Um, also, the, the zombies are smart. They're not dumb. Which oh, I don't know. Okay. That's that's I've, I I I I enjoy those better than just dumb zo- zombies. But they're actually smart. Okay. So I I want I want you to watch so we can discuss some some of the weird stuff. All right, what what else have you been watching? Um, let's see. Um, well, I kind of talked about um I've been I got back into I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh on um what's it called? Uh on the computer, the it's the uh, Legacy, Legacy of the Duelist, I think, cuz yeah, cuz I I have to get that and there's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link, which has the free-to-play one that's out. Um, I always have to remember which is which, but um, so I and I uh, recently saw that. Well, I mean, I I I noticed um, there's a there's a newer Yu-Gi-Oh! movie that I have haven't seen. So was it uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Something Dimension? Uh. Dimension Fusion, Dimension Shifter, Dimension Wall. Nope, that's a card. I know that The dark one. side of the dimensions. Um, and so I watched that recently. Um, it's it was all right. There was not anything spectacular. There was a, you know, it was a movie. So a lot of like battles they had had to be done real quick, you know stuff like that um and then they i i don't know if it's like they they added there's this new mechanic um that a character introduced or whatever because it's like oh here's there's a prophecy that once the pharaoh leaves the the pluna or plus i don't know plurna plus some something some like magical force or whatever is going to be given what Columbus. I I don't know, but um, it given out or whatever, and then when he when the pharaoh returns, it'll be it'll be it'll be it will go away or it'll be taken back, receded or something. I, and the, there's a character who's like not not on board with that, so he's trying to like stop it and trying to like get rid of Yugi because heeds the body that the pharaoh would go into and all this and that it's 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 not a real dark or not a real deep you know in uh in depth like plot or anything like that it's more of just like hey here's here's Yu-Gi-Oh. you guys remember yugi and joey and kaiba and all the the main characters you know and like and stuff like that and you know let's but, but oh, here's Kaiba flying in this plane that looks like a blue eyes. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Forgot that he had that. Okay, just a lot of a lot of references and stuff like that. That's like, 
you know, just like, hey, remember this? And I had to, I, I had to think, and I was like, how is it? How does he kind of have that much money from just like, I get, oh yeah, I guess his, I guess it, it, when I think about it, yeah, he did take over his stepfather's company that was a military contract company, so that's I guess where he get, but because like th- there's a scene where like. Kaiba is in a space station above Earth, and I'm like, just because. What? What? Why? Don't why don't don't think about it. Just he's in a space station. Just don't don't worry about it. Okay. Don't don't think about it. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, it's um, it's available to for on VOD or it's free on Amazon Prime. It's you know it's it's Yu Gi Oh you know like it's and like I said there's the the new mechanic was like dimension summoning or something like that and I'm had no idea I have no idea if that's like actual actual mechanic in the card game now or not because I haven't really dealt with the new stuff you know in the card game I've been going through the the old um, the original series like story campaign and using the the story decks and stuff like that. Um, so I'm, you know, the, the, the newest stuff, I, I mean, I, I, I haven't really done any of the new stuff and there's a lot of crazy new stuff apparently, but it was, it was all right. You know, they had the majority, the majority of the voice actors they had back and, you know, you could tell they were, you could, you could tell they had gotten a bit older cause they didn't sound, some of them didn't sound quite the same. But you don't sound 17. You sound 30. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's some interesting stuff with with characters. They were like, oh, yeah, Taya, you're going over. You're you're going to, on a foreign exchange or study abroad. And oh, yeah, because I want to be a professional dancer and it's like what well, okay that's a was that in the show i don't remember that being a a thing but okay <laughs> there's just just a lot of stuff like that that's just like i don't it was that in the show i don't remember or they just like throwing things out there you know type of thing i never got big into you into Oh. like i i watched it some of it I know who Kaiba is. I know Blue Eyes Red Dragon. I know Dark Magician. I know some of the cards, but that's about it. That's as far as my knowledge. Yeah, I was I was fairly big into it around like you know, kind of junior high, high school time, um, and played a bunch and watched. I watched the whole series, um, but and then I remember like. Okay, there's a new like I remember. Oh, the, the you the the main series is over. Here's five D and oh, they're battling on, while riding on motorcycles, motorcycles in the future. I remember. Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm think I'm done with the Yu Gi Oh series, and I I've seen like I've seen like images and stuff from the other ones because apparently there's like a lot of other Yu Gi Oh sure series like. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like, <laughs> this, this is interesting. Um, like, literally, some of them look like Sentai, like Sentai characters, like, but they're Yu-Gi-Oh, but they're battling with Yu-Gi-Oh. And it's just like, oh, OK, interesting. Um, but yeah, so Yu-Gi-Oh... Dark, the dark side of dimensions you know it's it was actually rather long it was like two hours 11 minutes so you know a, a, a longer than i would have expected an animation an animated movie to be you know usually they're like an hour 40 something hour 50 at most you know and they never they're never too long I, for whatever reason but this one was a bit long so like I said, it's on Amazon Prime, like included with Prime. So if anyone's interested, uh, what's another thing you got? Uh, another thing I got is another movie on Netflix called The Mitchells versus the Machines. 
it's a it's a family mo- movie. It is basically about this family who during a, the robot apocalypse. Um, and it's very funny. It is artsy in like in like the same way that um, like some of it kind of remind me of like how um. Oh, um, in into the Spider Verse was you know it was kind of artsy in the, in a way you know in, in comic book style. This was artsy in a graphic um, graphic design uh, and meme uh, way. Um, I, 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 I liked it. I definitely la- laughed out loud on multiple parts. Um, <clears throat> and this family, it's kind of, they're kind of, they say, they say like the, that they're like the worst family because, you know, they're not really, you know, you got their neighbors who are always like, Oh, happy poses for the camera. Mm. Oh, we're just sitting here on a vacation doing our doing our yoga as a family. And we're so happy, you know, they're not that family. You know, you got the the main the main character. Um, she's uh, into like like film and like she's she's going into like film school. She's very artsy while her dad is more like the rugged outdoor, like survival type, you know, kind of the, the opposite. And like, they don't really get along because they don't, they can't see each other's side. But like, they want to, but they want the other to relent. Kind of, kind of, kind of a thing. And then the mom is just trying to hold the, hold them together. And then the, the son, um, is really into dinosaurs. Like that was kind of his, okay. that's kind of, that was kind of his trait was he's into dinosaurs. And I think he was a little autistic. Just saying. Uh, and then their dog is a complete idiot as well. Um, But it's it's a funny watch, and like I said, it's it's a family movie, so kids kids will like it too. Okay, I heard the name before from somewhere, but I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, I I, I heard heard it talk talk about it on a on a podcast. I'm like, oh, check it out. I need I need to watch some something else for the podcast. Okay. Um uh, okay, let's see. Um how many more things you got? One. Okay. <laughs> um I know what that is. Okay, then before we get to that, I'll I guess I guess actually uh, no, I'll two. Sorry. About... Sorry, I have two. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess the last thing I'll talk about before we, the, the big thing, the last thing we both talk about, um, I went and to the movie theaters. Oh, right. A couple of weeks ago, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if you told me what you saw or not. I didn't. No. Okay. Um. I saw Spiral from the book. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I started typing. <laughs> That's the Saw movie. Um, the oh. Chris Rock Saw movie. But no, I didn't see that. Um, that's one I'm like, I'll wait till that's like, I can watch that at home on the ch- cheap. You know, I am a Saw fan for, you know. I'm not. Love or hate the series. I've watched them all and... 
you know. But anyway, I I hear this one's bad, unfortunately, like really bad. Isn't it the Chris is, Rock isn't is, it a reboot? Well, it, it says from the Book of Saw or whatever, and it's like it's a continuation or something, or I don't know. But I I heard Chris Rock is just like doing stand up the whole time, basically throughout the the movie. All right, you know, not really acting, which is a disappointment, you know. But anyways, I saw Cruella. Ooh, yes. This was the this is the first movie that kind of came out or that's come out since you know and that I've like thought okay I could I could go see this this is a this this is something I've been interested in you know Emma Stone I'm a big fan of Emma Stone yeah um the the, the when I heard she was pl- gonna play Cruella like a young Cruella I'm like okay I'm on board. Let's 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 do this. You know, it's it's a, it's a two hours fourteen minutes, so it's not going to be like oh, I'm going to the theaters and watching a short movie. You know, it's going to be a thing. It's going to end. So I I got the I got the works. I got I got food and drink and did all order, that. Did you order the food ahead of time? I did. I did not. I'm not. I was like I saw that I was an option. I'm like I'm not sure how that works. And then when I when when I went to the movies, I saw I was like, they're just kind of sitting there. I don't like that. Yeah, you know, you pick a time, like, you know, you can pick a time and then go up there. I uh, they didn't really work too well for for me. Like I I I I went up there and was waiting, and then someone came and I said, yeah, I had. Then they're like, oh, okay, and then they started making it, and then halfway through them doing my order, they. Then they finally got the little thing that printed out that said, hey, this is an order you have to make. So (laughs) that might just be my area because my area is like very slow to my my city is the technology and that kind of stuff. It takes a while to get to, you know, like for places to adapt it, even if it is like a chain thing. Yeah. You know, like a chain restaurant or chain movie theater or whatever but but yeah i got the got got the full movie experience and i really enjoyed this movie this movie is great good good i'm I'm happy to hear that because i because yeah. i definitely want to want to see this too um it's you know it, it is like a, a origin story of cruella um and it kind of changes things. Um, it's got a, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's got a 74 on the tomato meter, but audience score of 97. Sounds which I agree right. with that. It's, it's a good, it's a really good movie. Um, like she does. She, Emma Stone is an ama- is amazing in this. This might be her best performance. I think honestly, um, I need to see, let me look through her IMDb and see what all, if there's anything I can think if see that's better than this. Cause she did amazing with this, like the, just the character depth, the, the emotions that ran through the character, you know, through stuff, you know, like it is, it, it's, it's amazing. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but cause I think people should go see this, you know? this is definitely this is definitely a movie worth going to the theaters to see you know especially i mean especially because what is it uh is it 30 bucks on disney plus that's That's the thing they do that's usually the thing yeah yeah i got the i got my ticket and all my food and drinks and stuff was less than that so you know um that was another kind of thing i was like oh no way am i gonna pay for this at, and watch it at home when I can, you know, go the theater, get all the works and for less, but um, but yeah, it's a 
you it's it, it starts with you know showing like Cruella as a little kid and how like she was strange and always getting into trouble and always misbehaving and stuff like that and then you know there's a tragic accident where her and her mother because she gets like sus- or she's about to get suspended or ex- she's about to get expelled but then her her mother's like I withdraw my daughter from from your school <laughs> Like right before the 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 principal's about to say whatever, but um, they stop up. They're about to move somewhere else, and they stop somewhere, and something happens where her mother gets killed. Um, and then she's kind of on her own, and that's where she meets um, what's the what's their name? Um, the Jasper and the, Horace. The, the, yeah, there, there we go. They were the henchmen. Why did I like, remember that? I don't know. Because I haven't seen 101 Dalmatians in maybe 25 years. Yeah, this is the, they're the henchmen. For, <laughs> and it took me it took me a little time to realize that's who they were until like the they're do until like there was a point where they're where they're doing uh like a job or whatever because. You know, they, 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 she meets, she meets them as kids and then it flash forwards to, you know, them as adults and they've been like stealing, you know, they're like grifters and stuff like that. And all this and that trying to get by on the mean streets of London or whatever. And this is like kind of set in like the, like, I guess like the seventies ish era. Okay. 60s, 70s ish, somewhere around there. Well, but I, um, from what I remember, like 101 Dimensions, they like took place like maybe like turn of the century, like like the 1900s. Like it was. I remember that. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of like, uh, it, there's, there's a lot of like, there's a, there, there's a character who's definitely, Kind, kind of David Bowie-ish. Okay. So that's why I'm saying this is like, takes place like in the 70s-ish, somewhere around there. Because I don't think like, you know, that would, there. I don't think there would be, it'd be acceptable. I don't think there would be a, like, it, it's a shop owner or whatever, like of a clothing store. I don't think that would like fly back at the turn of, the 1900s you know <laughs> that type type of thing but and there's a lot of like punk elements to this and stuff like that with fashion and stuff like that and it, it's a great movie like i can't wait till you actually do get to see this so we can talk about this because it is fantastic it's do they explain it's one of the, the best- hair uh it's birth it's just a thing Okay, it's just just the thing she had as a kid, and because I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually, looking through my I'm to be just just like the photos and like she has like like auburn hair in some, but then the half black half white in others, and then there's others at her kids version, and she has the half black half white. Yeah, she has it as a kid, and then when her mother dies, and like the whole mother die, that's like in that's early on. That's not a real, real like spoiler thing. That like, like that's like the opening like five minutes, when a five ten minutes thing was her in school having issues, and then her mom dies. So not a not a huge spoilers if anyone's upset. I said that, um, you know. But uh, it, it's the thing that leads to the beginning of the movie. But uh, yeah, she ha- as a kid, she has the half white, half black hair. And then when she's on her own and she's like, oh, I need to find hair dye because this is going to stand out and I need to not not stand out, you know. And so, yeah, she does that. And then later on when she like, I guess, decides to take on the the name Cruella. That's where she's like, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be who I've always tried not to, you know, I've always tried to fight 
this, this troublemaker, crazy person. I'm going to just gonna be myself and let, you know, and that's where she lets her the hair go, go and stuff like that. And there's a lot of clever things in this movie too, that they like reference to the Dalmatian, you know, 101 Dalmatians, mm-hmm. a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of di- references and stuff like that. Um, also, there are, there are, there are, um, was it, there's, uh, two dogs in this movie. Uh, uh, she has a dog and then one of the, one of her friends, um, I can't remember which is which, um, uh, oh, Horace, Horace has a, has a little dog with, uh, who's, who has, who, ha, who, 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 the, they're like the cutest things, especially the little dog horse has, has a, has a, has, has only has one eye and wears an eye patch and it's just like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and there's so many, there's so many cute, there's so many cute, funny things that they do. Like they dress the dog up in certain situations for grifting jobs and all this and that. And it's just like, it, it's amazing. I, I, I don't want to give, give away any specifics, but like. If you're a dog lover, you're going to love the way they use animals in this. Okay, cool. Like, um, there's no, like, you know, like, you know, the, 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 the horror of what Corella is and like the 101 Dalmatians, you know, right type thing. That's not quite, you know, you don't have to worry about like, like that in, in this anyways. Um, and there is a, there's a mid credit scene. Okay. That kind of like hints at maybe more. And I actually, I think there might be another movie coming out. Them either, either it's rumored or they just announced it recently. Oh, I saw something about, yeah. Cruella to release date, latest news. Yeah. I think the director and Emma Stone's going to be back. So yeah, how that's going to work. I don't know. You know, they, they totally reinvented the character. I feel like, or at least, at least, you know, since it was this, her perspective, you know, it definitely felt like a reinvention of the character, you know, cause in 101 Dalmatians, Corella was definitely one-sided like, you didn't really get to see any anything but like, hey, she's evil and she wants to kill dogs to make coats, you know, yeah. type of thing. But uh, this definitely had a lot more deep, you know, deep, deeper stuff. And like I said, this is I feel like this might be Emma Stone's best performance. Like, I really feel, I feel like she did great in this. So. I would highly recommend people check this out, whether whether or not they go to the theaters or they t- wait to till t- t- on you know Disney Plus, maybe not for the thirty bucks or pay the thirty bucks if you have like a big family or whatever, and it's worth you know it's worth paying the thirty bucks because it's cheaper that way than actually going to the theater with a big family. But for someone like, you know, like you or me, we're just one person. So right. it's makes more sense to go to the theater and yeah, use that extra money on snacks or whatever. Oh, yeah. What's another? What's your other thing before the last thing? I watched the anime. anime. We've not talked about anime at all. Okay. Uh, this episode. Uh Jujutsu Ketsen. I oh, watched I've watched part of this. Yeah. The I I I read the synopsis like kind of when we, when this came out, and I was like, that's weird, because and I felt like the synopsis either I read it wrong, or I under I misunderstood it, because I read it as. That dude had a classmate who was cursed and ate, ate his finger to get rid of the curse and then possessed him. That's how I read 
the synopsis. That's not quite how that happened. No, not quite. But I some mean, of the stuff you said is true. <laughs> there was a, there. Yes, yes, there was a dude. There is a dude in the anime who does eat a finger and gets possessed, but not his classmate's finger. Well, no, no. Um, he eats the finger of a. Is it a cur? Is he a cursed spirit? I think he is. Of a of a cursed sp- spirit who's a, who's really powerful, and the only yeah. way like they could like banish him or like get rid of his spirit was to like cut off his fingers and like like so like chop him up right. Like, yeah, like, and, but like he had like, like four arms. So he has 20 fingers and, um, and then seal his fingers in places. But like the seals are starting to decay and in like midst of a battle, he main dude eats a finger to get powerful, to be able to defeat a cursed spirit. And now he is possessed, but can somehow control the possession and not let the curse take over his body. And he's like, he has like super human strength without having powers. So it's, it's odd. It's an odd anime, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, main, the main character is kind of one of those like like I, I don't know how you would describe him. He kind of on the he's got this he's got the same uh, kind of feel as like a uh, was it like N- Naruto Natsu, um, you know uh, yeah, just what's the- his name from. Black Clover, like, you know, Asta. silly, but y- yeah, Asta, yeah, Asta, like that kind of tone to him where he's like, you know, he, he is powerful, but he's kind of silly and goofy and, you know, but can't be serious when it needs to be type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the, one of those shown in, uh, animes. Um, but it's, it's, gorgeous though like if you like really pay, pay, pay attention to like the animation it's really gorgeous because like they do a a very awesome mix of 3D and 2D and I'm not 100% sure but they might have even shot some some of the scenes like on site like, like where this is supposed to be and then just did let and then just drew drew over that just to get it just to get it right and like to get like the like i know i i know they do that a lot of times for like just like static background images but they did this with action scenes and like like the, where the the camera rotates around and like it was like it's really well done um like almost almost to the style of uh, uh De- demon slayer like how how that was so stylized this is this is this is stylized as well um and it looked really good um and yeah it's 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 your shonen anime you know like hey there's cursed spirits and you know uh dude's fingers are starting you know the the seals are starting to decay in order to kill the demon, we need to we need to collect have you collect and eat all of the fingers, and then we're gonna kill you. <laughs> and he's like, okay. Kind kind of. But um like but, he lived in the moment, not like think about the future. Yeah. Uh, he's you know. He's he's got like the, the mentality of like 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 in like the first episode, like his his grandfather dies. And like his his grandfather's last words to her, to him were uh you're you're strong. Save everybody you can. E- even if it's just one one person. 
So he kind of gets that, you know, like, okay, I'm going to do, I want to honor my, my grandfather's wishes and make sure that everybody has a proper death. I'm not going to stop death, but I'm going to make sure everyone has a proper death. And like, that's kind of his like mantra. Yeah. Um, I, I, I watched, it took me three days, but I watched all, all 24 episodes and it said Did that many. Wow. Yeah. It, it said there's a to be con- continued at the end. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. Um, actually, I think I did look, look it up and it's coming in winter of 2022. So six months. Far did I get on here? Uh, it, it it ends with a tournament arc because, <laughs> of course, it does. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because, like, he's yeah his 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 school is like one of like two in Japan. Like he's he's at the Tokyo Jujitsu Sorcerer Academy, and then there's there's a Kyoto one. And of course, they don't like each other. Even though, hey, they're technically they're on the same side. But there's a rivalry. Yeah, I've watched uh, up to episode eight. So I me- I always I meant to go back to it, but it was the thing that was airing. Like I think when I started watching it. Things were still airing and whatnot, but I'll probably just maybe uh, start from okay, the beginning. Okay. So you, you you met the, and this is Panda, which who is an actual panda bear who walks and talks and fights. And I was like, and moving on, like, wait, no, no, go back. Why is there a panda that just walks and talks and, and fights and what just go back but they do they do anime they do end up explaining (laughs) why there is a panda and what he is because he's not just a normal panda because of course not he walks and talks and fights yeah 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 i remember i i remember at least the first few episodes like the first you know but i don't remember the uh, there's some stuff I don't, I, I, I'm a bit fuzzy on, but yeah, I do remember the, at least the first couple episodes, like, you know, the, him eating the fingers and getting cursed and him getting introduced to the, the, the school or whatever. And then him meeting the, you know, the, the one chick who's new to and all that. And yeah, it's, yeah, like you said, it, it's a, it's a really good looking anime and it's, it seems, at least from what I remember, and uh, it's it's a very action heavy anime too. Yes. So if 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 the action style animes, you know, are not your thing, then this might be a pass. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't realize it was. It was that twenty four episodes. So wow. Yeah. Makes sense though, you know. It seems like one of those longer style animes. I could see this definitely going on for a few seasons, probably. You know, so can I. I mean, it it didn't really come to like any type of conclusion at all. Like it just kind of like, just kind of ended. It wasn't really even in the yeah. middle in the middle of anything. It was just kind of like, we're done. Yeah, it's definitely you, you nailed it. It's definitely a show, uh, a shonen in or shonen anime. Yeah, it's your typical for you know as far as as far, it 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 marks all or checks all those boxes. You know, sure does. That like a Dragon Ball or a you know whatever other you know 
insert this shonen anime, but yeah, it's good. I see. I I haven't watched anything really new anime wise. At least I've at least uh, nothing that I feel like I kind of can talk about because there are a couple things, but they've only been like one episodes. You know, mm-hmm. that's why I haven't really brought up an anime every and everything else uh, anime wise. It's just like air. It's you know, like oh, the quintessential quintuplets. You know, season two. I'm continuing. And oh my god, that. That anime, that season two of that that anime is like there's so much drama and backstabbing and craziness going on with that anime. It it's it's, it's pretty entertaining. Like, but yeah, you know, you know that and you know uh, Doctor Stone and all that. Doctor Stone's about to go to the their exploration arc. Okay. Where they're going to build a ship and be, you know, travel and whatever, whatever, all that stuff. Which is interesting. Um, But, you know, all, all, a lot of the animes I'm watching are just airing episode to episode, and most of them I've talked about. So Same. There's a couple. I'm just waiting for a few more to air so i can have a real give a real you know like sense of what it is before i talk about it Mm -hmm. yeah i I, I get that it's like you need to watch at least like three three episodes seems to be the the magic number at least for me yeah same before you you know because you got the intro and then you got the like you start to after the first episode, the second and third episode start to really show you what this anime is going to be, you know, what it's really going to be. Yeah. Going forward. So. Okay. So, uh, I guess we got one more thing to talk about. Yeah. Big thing that came out Wednesday. Right. Wednesday. Weird day. Well, it's because Bad Batch is Bad Batch airing is airing on Fridays. Airing on fr- yeah. Fridays. Um, but uh, Loki. Episode yeah. one. Loki. So far, I like it. I, it's, I say the same. Um, there's definitely a lot. This was definitely an explaining episode. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. It was definitely. We're going to try to fast forward the pro- process of getting 2012 Loki to where he was when he died in Endgame. We're going to try to kind of try to speed him through through that character and personality arc to get him to be in a not as bad a guy. Yeah, the character growth. If you will. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to speed that up a little bit. By showing him clips of the stuff that made him that had the uh, character growth from the, all the previous movies. Yeah. More dark world stuff. You know, they're, I mean, they're, they've really been making dark. They've really been trying to make dark world like you know matter well i mean you know? it kind of <laughs> i mean to the to to both thor and loki it really did yeah yeah they, they definitely see dark world in a different light you know yeah than when it actually released um but yeah there's there's there's, there's i'm just I, I i i don't know why how i truly kind of feel about this because there's some things p- about this that I'm kind of worry me a b- little like you know like the, it, it, the whole like was it like time agency or whatever correct you know wh- whatever it's called I forgot what the actual the TVA or TVA time yeah variant in no. Nope. I just remember TVA from like his like prison 
uniform or whatever clothing choice. But, Time variance authority. I was close. Yeah, yeah. So that that, that whole thing, like, kind of, I'm a little worried that it's going to make some things, like, it, it, it just feels like it's muddying the whole, you know, because some people were having issues with how in-game, you know, the whole, like, 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 the the whole like oh is in game really following its own rules or you know what does this mean type of you know like type of thing and this feels this whole stuff kind of feels like it's muddying it even more well because there because <laughs> there's a point where Loki's like well the the Avengers came back in time and blah 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 but they were supposed to do that and it's like what what okay okay yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but like he gets in trouble just for Being reacting to something that right. happened, which makes out you think like control. Like, what about Steve when he went back to be with Peggy? Um, what what about that? exactly? What about like, that? Because we know, like, he, yeah, he wasn't uh, retconned because uh, because he could be good old old Steve. Yeah, it's it, it makes uh, it, they they could totally like it could lead to like oh the 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 big time the like the the head the timekeepers or I don't know what they're called like no, I think yeah time time, time yeah timekeeper okay yeah I wasn't quite sure if I was like confusing that with like Legends of Tomorrow type terminology <laughs> or whatever you know cuz that's very similar type stuff there's a time agency in that show where they uh-huh. fix things and whatever but anyways yeah the t- like maybe the time maybe it this pans out to the, like the timekeepers or maybe it's just like one person who's the timekeeper and that ends up being a thing and you know well no there's three whatever whatever there's there's well, three, I mean, yeah, like, cuz like, you you see the, were, the the big, the big old heads behind them well yeah you see you see the three as they're explaining it but like maybe there's like one person now you know maybe like that's i don't know but like you maybe there's a reason that you know that that they explain towards the maybe the end of the season or there's a reveal or something and it adds to this big multiversal thing that the mcu this phase of the mcu seems to be going towards you know they they teased uh variants in wandavision right Mm. and then the um what's it called um we know multiverse of madness dr strange multiverse of madness which was almost literally said multiverse of madness it'd be a madness of the multiverse like wait a minute yeah (laughs) So I I don't know. Like that's, that's the whole thing. I'm just like, I, I, I'm a little weary on, on how they're handling this, you know, like I'm a little afraid that the fanboys are going to come out and then like pick this apart and just done. like done already done. Just, <sighs> Cause like, and like anyway. this, this was also like this, this had so many like background things that it was just a playground for those people who are like, Here's 50 things you missed in blah, blah, blah. I have yet to watch that. Yeah, I have yet to watch it, one of it those. Was a I don't mind those, playground. but like, I don't mind those, but like the whole, like, as far as picking apart, uh, I, like, I mean, like criticizing it, like, yeah. You know, and type, and, and the, one, stuff. Yeah. the one, the one that I like to watch does. It also like it picks apart, you know, not just like background things, but like plot. I have heard like okay the time stones don't work in there okay that's that's fine because or, or not the time stones the infinity stones don't work but yet then again each universe in the in Mar- the Marvel comics they have their own infinity stones and they don't work outside their universe but then again in the MCU they took infinity stones from other timelines which are other universes into their into their main one and used it so that debunks the comic lore so that you see you see where i'm going it's 
it's like yeah if you think about it too hard your head kind of like oh and it, it, it the, the, it's, i'm only worried because the mcu's like for the most part they've been good they've been solid with you know continuity and keeping things together with only a few right. like like in game you know, in game there was a whole scene between hulk and the ancient one where like hey you know but i'm going to bring this time stone back but yet we see an entire drawer of just infinity stones like well nobody took those back what about those it's like oh like oh yeah variants have them all the time but then do another does another one just pop up because of what because then they're, they're in your fucking drawer like what oh we use them as paperweights <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. It's just like, uh, but they, we do know maybe, maybe it's just they don't work in that area where, wherever they're at. Well, well, that's, that's, I mean, they, they don't work. You're right. But then, like, but there's a bunch of them right there. How is there more than one? Cause like, cause, yeah. like, cause like, then, like, somebody, like the whole point was like like Steve like took them all back. So I'm like, but like if they're oh, there's a bunch in your drawer, how did they get back to the the timeline? Well, if, if they had them. that's different universes though, right? Yeah, that's not that's not no that wasn't said. As, well, I mean, as, I mean, I mean, as, as, as far, that wasn't as, far said, as far as we understand, but, this is just one universe. This is this is the yeah, this is this TVA know, for one universe. That's I guess, but like we as, we know as that's far not as the we case, know, you know, as far as we know, yeah. There's 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 a TVA for each universe, or this could be the TVA for all universes. But then that's what I'm thinking. That's that's that was my like that understanding. That has of not it, been stated. You know? Because they mentioned it, you know, like they 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 say at the end, uh, you know, spoilers, whatever. That the person who's killing all the, is uh, is Loki, is a Loki, right? I was just it, so that kind of it's it's Loki kinda, from a different timeline. That's it. Yeah, it's just it's a different variant of Lo- Loki. So, not not uh, not, know, not, so, not not necessarily a Loki from another from from another universe, but just from a different well, time. In the comics, is didn't we look this up? The variants are like different universes or different. This isn't the comics though. I mean that's that's the thing. Like this is not the the, yeah. the, the comics. Like yeah, like, so, like some 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 I of just, the rules still apply, but like this, it's a it's a different universe though. Like I said, it, it this episode it explained some things, but it really muddied a lot of things, which has me a little worried. I am looking forward to seeing more though. Like if if it is different universes and stuff like that. Which, you know, hopefully it is. Well, you know, we see I, I'm looking forward to seeing other versions or other variants of Loki, you know, because there are some fun ones in the comics. Yes. Like hot female Loki. <laughs> Who's the villain? It, is that? Is the female one the villain? I can almost guarantee you. That's that's really that's, okay. who, that, that, that's who it is, because there is a oh that's your get yeah, okay oh what there's a what well let's see we just, I gotta look up the cast of Loki yeah as far as I was aware they didn't like reveal like what type of Loki it was it was just like when they showed him he was shadowed you know. Like shadowy figure. Yeah, uh, there is a an act- actress, so Sophia de Martino, I think that's her name. Uh, she's she's listed in five of the six epi- ep- episodes, and my theory, along with other people, is she's the female Loki, who and she's the one that's killing people. Oh, I hope that's not the case because that would suck just because having that spoiled this early on 
because of casting. <laughs> oh, I hope that's not the case. What? In, 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 in one of those like 50 things you missed in episode one of Loki. Um, one of the on Loki's uh, profile that was handed to um, Mobius that listed Loki's gender as fluid. Like it could, it could definitely be Loki from a different time, different timeline who just happens to be female at this point in time. Yeah, I see. I, I don't mind that as a story thing. I just as a it being spoiled because of, you know, like casting on IMDb. <laughs> Well, uh, it's not. It's not the case. We, we, if, you, if you look up on IMDb, like what her character is, it's blank. There's nothing there. Yeah, it's it's, okay. it's, yeah. it's blank. But just that's the theory: is female Loki. Okay. Yeah. There's a. There's some. There's other people who are. Yeah. There's there's, there's other people who are, yeah. are blank. Yeah. Like Richard yeah, Richard just, e. I, Grant, who is I that's who great. I'm looking at, yeah. Maybe he's old Loki. That'd be cool too. Yeah. <laughs> could be, yeah. I can see it. I can definitely see it. Yeah. Owen Wilson's great in this, by the way. I've kind of oh, yes. gotten tired of Owen Wilson in in the the past I don't know how long, but for a while I've been kind of you know, like tired every time I see him, you know, just like because Owen Wilson had become just like a just a character in yeah. in, in himself. Yeah. But in this this is like a role like I've never I can't remember the last time I've seen Owen Wilson like actually like not be oh that's just Owen Wilson. Just you know? a, just a goofy person, yeah. I mean Yeah. Yeah, Mobius is a little goofy, but he's not like Owen Wilson get goofy. No, no. He's like the the like he like he wasn't know, say yeah, Zoolander. Yeah, oh yeah. He's like a witty goofy. You know? Yes. Which I think is cool. I I think he, him and Tom Hiddleston's chemistry is great. Absolutely fantastic. You know? Yeah. The back and forth and stuff like that. Um, it it kind of sucks. They they give away they give away some of the good stuff in the like trailers, like the whole like I was gonna stand up, you know, just to you know to make it more dramatic. Oh, you can. Well, I'll, I'll do. You know, that whole back and forth was great, but like they that was they kind of showed that off in the trailer. I completely forgot about that. Oh yeah, I've I've seen the I've seen the I've seen I've seen the the trailer on Twitch a, a bunch <laughs> lately. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I know. But but yeah, uh, I'm 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 excited though. Obviously, see more. You know, it, definitely interesting where this goes and how this you know how they handle this. This is. This is definitely one of the 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 more interesting ones I was looking forward to. You yes, because we we all knew how Falcon and the Winter Soldier was more or less going to be. Yes, you know, and it 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 was what we thought more or less it was going to be. Right, which was I had not no a bad clue thing. about Wandavision. Yeah, I had no clue about Wandavision really. Um, and then this definitely had no clue. Have no clue how this is going to be handled even now. You know. Yeah. Because um, like I said, the first episode was really more here. We're going to explain things. Yeah. We're going to set things up. Hopefully that's what this episode was for. You know, them setting things up in the next episode and the rest, they just jump into head first, you know. One, one, one complaint that I did have at the time was that one scene where the dude had the printout of everything that Loki had ever said. Boy, that stack oh, should yeah. have been bigger. 
It should have been a lot bigger, yeah. <laughs> that should have been huge. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. They couldn't. I guess in theory, like it would, it would, it, it would be way too big to, to, to show, to we, show that's off. That's the thing. I like, just have like, just like, just stacks like four, four, four to ceiling behind the guy. Yeah. And like, it's not even like, you know, maybe they, they micro printed, you know, like it was so tight. No. Cause when they printed it out, that one word, you know, that, the, the, that last thing he said or whatever, you know, you could see, you could see it when it was said. So it wasn't like it was written super tiny or printed super tiny on the, the pages. You know? Right. Yes. But, you know, you know, it's Pim particle printer, you know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I agree with that. That's the, the, the and that, that was something from the trailer that I was like, yeah, that stack is not large enough. Yeah. Like not just for Loki, but just for any, you know, like, yeah, like. I know I've said more things more than more than that. Know, yeah. More than that. You know, and Loki is how, how old? I did like the whole, like showing. Yeah. Loki has been to earth, you know, and that was great. Like, I, 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 we knew, we knew the TB Cooper thing was going to happen, but like, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be for first episode. Yeah. It's like, well, I, it, it leaves you to your imagination. Like, who else in history was Loki? Like, it's a, you know, he had bets with Thor and, you know, whatever, yeah. and to do stuff. And, you know, that's interesting. That's fun. It's like, I wonder if they'll explore that more, if they'll make more little Easter egg references here and there. I hope throughout so. Throughout the series. That'd be great. Yeah. So. Um, the, the, like the, I do have to say the, like, was it that the, the security guard lady, whatever, she was kind of dry as far as her acting goes. I didn't really yeah. like her much. So it's, we were talking so great about, you know, Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston and, you know, even uh, the, the 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 dude he like the the whole I've got you like a fish. What's a fish? Like even that, that right. guy. That guy was fun. I liked him. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Is that his a test rack? It's very powerful. That's a dumb name. <laughs> What's a fish? I want to know what I'm. If I'm being threatened, I want to know. What, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, he's great. He's great. That. Um. Sadly, on according to IMDb, that's his only episode. So, but you know, IMDb doesn't necessarily reveal everything at the beginning. Right. We've definitely seen some hidden. Th we've definitely seen things hidden. You know, so who knows? But yeah, Loki's pretty good. You know, it looks like six episodes, so five more. Um. Yeah. So I'm 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 looking forward to it, and then was it we got what if after Loki, right? Yeah, that's the next big thing. Which that's another thing I'm like super excited for. Same, just because you know it's what if you know. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, okay, but I guess that's it for this week's episode. Um. Next week, we'll be back to gaming and uh, probably just gaming because E3, E3 is like happening. Yep. Yeah, lots of stuff happening now. And I think the press conferences are start Sunday, right? Yes. I believe yeah. so. I really I don't know too much. I haven't really been keeping up too much. I just all of a sudden, you know, like a couple days ago, I saw like, oh, E3. Oh, it, it's E3's now? It's oh, now, yeah. Like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah. wow. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Stuart is at Casual Terror. I am at WillPlayGames underscore, and we will catch you next time. 
And remember, no animals are harsh. We didn't make this podcast.